you're more than welcome to fly. You know the legislation. I've admitted you know the legislation better than I do, which is why I have to check, check in before I come and have a conversation and yeah. start talking about things that I don't know about. That would be improper. Yeah. No, you were nearly there um, though. You were nearly there. And obviously once you check what I've said, Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Stoke-on-Trent having a look at the Northern Area Custody Facility for Staffordshire Police. So there is no public access as you normally see on these uh, custody only places. There's a few marked police cars in there. It's very secure, very secure indeed. Resembles uh, like a prison to be honest with multiple layers of fence very high security and a few decent cameras spotted around but as you'll see over there look and um, you've got a vehicle lock so when you do enter the main car park you go into sort of a void where the door closes behind you before the door opens to let you fully in to the yard and it's all publicly accessible around the outside. So let's have a quick walk around, see what we can see before we get the drone up. So yeah, like I said, that's the vehicle lock where you stick your vehicle in between. <laughs> one door closes, the other one opens. And obviously, those windows over there with those tiny squares of glass reinforced glass they're obviously where the cells are on this side yeah there's running water for sure down there but mainly it's just this big hefty pipe So it's all a bit overgrown around the outside and they have got this uh, this wire on the fence this um, motion detection wire so that if anyone does touch the fence there it says an alert inside and this is the control box for it where the wires go in so security is very very tight they're very uh, aware of threats on this one and more fences that are surrounding the building there look so not only have you got to get past this big fence here you've got a secondary fence on the inside and then when you do eventually get in you've got another sort of vehicle lock where you take your prisoner actually into the building in there look undercover which will also close on both sides so this is very very secure and just here we've got a GOAME prisoner transport van as well. But it's getting a little bit too overgrown now to continue that way. So I'll make my way out the way I came. And we'll go from there. Some sort of wildlife has burrowed a hole in there, look. That's a deep hole. So you'll notice that unmarked vehicle just came out of the main car park but it's not procedure here to wait for the gate to close I guess that's because they've got a secondary line of defense inside haven't they so we've checked on drone assist as shown on the screen just there David's ready to rock and roll so let's have a look at this place from above and see how big it really is So, let's go and have a look then at this custody centre. It's even got a shape like a prison. Oh, it's got 
five separate wings and I just heard some police on a nearby road wonder if we'll be able to see them and where they're going let's look for some flashing lights around here somewhere I can't spot them so far but it does sound like they're getting closer unless it's that ambulance there let's have a look yeah it looks like it's the ambulance yeah flashing blue lights look there it goes we can't see any car crash or anything down there can we well it's vehicle stopped oh just for the roundabout let's see how easy it is for the ambulance to get through the traffic when it arrives here then is anybody going to hold him up or her up let's see what happens at that little bit of a jam there on the roundabout because by now all those vehicles would have heard the ambulance behind them and somebody is in a life threatening emergency that needs the ambulance as soon as possible look a slight delay there I bet they get well frustrated but anyway back to the custody centre so we've got the vehicle lock there that we saw and the vehicles then drive around the outside and drop them off in that void that we saw just there which also seals from both ends so there's no chance of escape but even if they did escape they've still got to get past this internal gate just here and another and another so for a custody only center it looks quite good and you can imagine how many cells there are in each one of those five wings few vehicles the number of vehicles does actually make sense now how big a place is and that's where that uh, pipe was running down there I think we can just about see it down there running across and going God knows where but look we've even got some football pitches nearby what else have we got i can see we've got a train line that splits off oh talking of trains there's one right now look let's see what line it is if anyone can tell what train that is vpd there so as you've noticed, I'm talking over, although it is quite windy today, I'm talking over instead of music only. Let me know what you think. Would you prefer it if I uh, comment on what I can see? Now, I won't show you that building just there because I'm planning on doing a video there very shortly. But we have just had a vehicle come out. So I'll position the drone somewhere where you can see me and the vehicle just in case he wants to know what I'm doing but you can tell there that the normal procedure is wait for the gate to close so are they only doing this waiting for the gate to close when somebody's outside because the car earlier that we saw he didn't wait for the gate did he with this one it says 21 on the top 208 the 21 must resemble the force that we're in and look he's thinking about stopping he's thinking about it look is he going to stop oh yes he is he's going to stop 
got to make sure, I guess, haven't they? To make sure there's no ill intent. So they'll be on to comms right now, just to inform those inside of somebody outside. And I presume they will just carry on with their journey because they're leaving to do something, aren't they? And then somebody may come out to, to talk to me from inside. So we've got body cam showing forward drone showing up the road both angles covered i'll put them both on the screen right now so you can see and let's see which direction the constable approaches from will it be the body cam pointing at the custody center or the constable in the vehicle in 208 Anyway, I'm getting bored of waiting for them and I can hear interesting things going on around. Look, another train. Can we work out what train it is? So yeah, back to the custody centre. Let's have a, a good look around it. We've got a vehicle just going in there, so we'll see what happens uh, when he goes in, whether he's taking anybody into custody or not. No, not taking anybody into custody just parking the vehicle up. I can't see um, any exercise yards unless that's it there. But it looks completely fenced off to me no access from the inside but there is actually a police vehicle in that drop-off point now can't remember whether that was there before or not So at least we've had a, a complete fly around of the place. So it's getting a bit windy now and we've had a good look around and so far so good they are behaving themselves. So let's bring the drone down. So we're going to have a look um, for something special on this one apparently there's a listed building listed building located in the corner of the car park which is um, the last remaining building linked to the Wedgwood pottery works from 1769 as shown on the screen just there it says it's a, a drum shaped structure built of brick with a plain tiled roof so, I think we should go and have a look for it. 
and it's got two stories with ground floor entrance and a series of windows with flat arched gauged brick heads. I'm not staff. Uh, uh, this is private property. You yeah, that's all right. To be on here. I'm going to have a look at the, the listed building in the car park. Uh, again, that's on private property. Uh, the way to see the building is from the canal, okay? Now I want to get, I want to get really close to it. Where is it? Is it this way? Uh, no, it's at the back of the car park. Is it that way or this way? Which, uh, which direction? Uh, I'm not at liberty to tell you because this is private property. Yeah, no, but because it's got a listed building on it, the public have access. Uh, I'm, I'm not allowed to let anyone on. Well, I'm just going to do it anyway because I, I know the rights. Uh, then I, I will have to call my... Who are you anyway? I'm security. Where's your, where's your SIA licence? Where? There. Can't see it. It's there. February 2024. Okay. Uh, um, G. Newton, yeah? Okay. Can I tell you your name, please? No, definitely not. Yeah, 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 yeah. G. to Simon. What's the problem? I'm, I just told you, I'm just going to look at the listed building and I'll be gone. Yeah, could you come to the front, please? Why are you wasting people's time? I'm not. Yeah, that's yeah, all right, isn't it? I, I don't know. If our boss man says it's okay, yeah. then I'll escort you round. Thank you. Show you and come back if our boss man says it's okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it, the public do have access to listed buildings, you know. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, about right, that. okay. If you, if you say that, yeah. But if, you, if you want to, go on to the canal, I'm going to rip it from there. Yeah, go on to it. But you can't get so close, I want to get some good no. shots. You can't get close to it from there, no. Yeah, I want to get a bit if, closer than if, the canal. If that man comes down and says it's okay, yeah. more than happy to take you to it. Okay? I'm not, not, not even from here, so I wouldn't even know where to find it from the canal. I don't appreciate it. I'm saying, if he comes down, yeah. I'll take you around there. To you. Is that who you've called, have you? The boss man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Yeah. All right. What, your job is just to stand out here? <laughs> uh, our job is security to ensure uh, the, the safety of the building. As well. Yeah, yeah. Are you mainly based outside then? Uh, but we're based all around the yeah, side. Yeah. So. I'm surprised to see you, so many of you outside. But I suppose that people have got. Uh, Grudges against when they, they lose so much money, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Is that the case? I was, I was going to say I wouldn't know. It's just that you came yeah. at the time we all change over. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't all come swooping on you. It's the time we all change over. But yeah, as I said, if, if he comes around, he's, he's, he's happy to, to say, yeah, I'll, I'll take you around and show it to you. Are you part of security as well, are you? Yes, I'm, yeah. All oh, right, okay. No one has the SIA. Oh, yeah, you've got it on the opposite side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got so many places and people tell us they're security, but they're actually not. They're spouting all this rubbish and they're like, what, what makes you think what you're saying is true? Because you guys are trained. You guys know a little bit about what you're doing. Yeah. Well, yeah. one would hope. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, hopefully we know. We're going to ask you what your channel bit. is, sir. The channel? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think these are, these are wondering what the channel is as well. Yeah, right. I've just been down there to pay them a little visit because that's quite interesting DJ as well. Audits. Have you really sounds, just said that? Sounds, Have you really just said that? Your accent sounds very, very... No way. Yeah. No DJ way. DJ Aldrich will be, I suspect. Wow, that is amazing. I've never seen you before, but yeah. Yes, right. Uh, this gentleman here, uh, he would like access to uh, the roundhouse uh, in the back just to do some filming because it's uh, a listed building. Sorry, sir. I'll, I'll put it a bit differently and what we do this gentleman actually knows who I am so that, that might make a difference or not but we turn up unannounced just to see how professional people are to the public showing an interest a genuine inter interest in something that lots of people would love to see but they're not able to come so I just turn up random places for them just to see how it goes I mean if it's not convenient or it's not possible or you've got a, a reasonable reason why you don't want me to do it well, you can't do inside the canal no i d don't want to just see outside the, the outside is best view from the public viewing spots on the side of the canal i still don't know where that is but I, I do believe somebody said to me from the canal you've still got a bit of obstruction not much it's just a roundhouse i'd place, love to yeah. just if you could just work with me and just let me get right next to it just to take some shots around i won't round it but i'm not staying long with you that part, i really do appreciate that thank you that will really uh yeah, I'm very because I've just been reading a bit about it. It's the last remaining structure to do with uh, the Wedgwood yeah. pottery. Yeah. Is there anything else that you could tell me on the way? Well, <laughs> you know, about it. <laughs> was it sort of um, a hurdle with that being on site? 
like with the planning and building. I am, mate, I just work in security. I oh, no, are you? Oh, I you're plain clothed. I have no ideas of the uh, ins and outs of the planning and stuff like that. So, there's actually a requirement for plain clothed security in a place like this? But you're, you're actually catching people that work inside out as well. Because that's what normally plane officers do, isn't it? It's like work, working uh, covertly, isn't it? No, not at all. Everyone knows who I am. I wear a badge the same as everybody else. I'll just have a bit of a slightly different role. Right. Because I do like the idea of these um, covert people in like uh, Primark and stuff like that. Because they, they're going to catch them, aren't they? Better than the people that are all yeah, high vid stuff. You'd have to, you'd have to ask those in Primark how they get on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Oh, there it is. <coughs> yeah, and that matches the picture. Wow, so many of you in there. You've got a big yeah. security team. Yep. Yeah. I can't take it, I can take no. it up to the gate, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all personal private property. I've actually just come across here and obviously yes. all this shrubbery here, I didn't even notice it. Oh, the there's a kid's park in there as well, is there? The reason that people are allowed it, it's all on a private car park, it's a business and we have to maintain the integrity of the business and also the insurance to make it another car park. Understood, understood, yeah. We just don't allow people access to it. Yeah, no, this will go down very well, the fact that you've let me see it. What is um, all the kids stuff? Is that for when you have organised events? No, 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 that's just, that's, that's been there for a while. Just to make it look nice. That is really, really nice. I've oh, done that and it's called the Roundhouse as shown over there, look, up by the sign. And did you have to do regular maintenance on it to keep it looking nice? Yeah, to do with the maintenance. And it's got two floors inside, hasn't it? A ground floor entrance and a series of windows with flat arched gauge brick heads. Some blocked, not all on the same level. The building represents the last remaining link with the famous Etruria. Is it Etruria? Etruria. Etruria. Yeah. Pottery of the first Joshua Wedgwood. In 1766, Joshua purchased a Ridge House estate Joe for free. Sire. Sorry? Joe Oh, jo uh, what did I say, Joshua? Joshua. <laughs> in 1766, Josiah purchased a Ridge House estate for £3,000 and began building a new home and factory in what were then rural surroundings. The factory was called Etruria after the old Etruscan pottery in Italy and opened on the 13th of June, 1769. So that building there was built in 1769. Wow and it's still standing today. And there is a door, a double door actually, down there. But you can tell it has been well looked after. So yeah, thank you so much. That was absolutely brilliant. And now I know if I can, if I can go to that railing on the way out, I'll be able to see it from that angle as well. I'll show you where that railing is. That's no, okay, I've, I went by there on the way out, on the way in, sorry. I'll, I'll go around that way because I can do the control of the exterior. All right, okay. Well, I'll leave you to it. I'm just going to um, do a drone shot as well of it. Just over there. Won't, won't get in your way, all right? Just for the video. Where's the drone? Just over here. There's no... Yeah, there's no um, risk of me seeing in the windows or anything like that. I won't get that close. So, for, to have this, this much security in a place like this, it, it baffles me. Is it like um, a threat from people that have lost money or something? A lot of people working and maybe a lot of equipment inside. A lot of equipment inside, yeah. a lot of data, a lot of personal data. information. Yeah, that's why I'm very careful that it comes on site to make sure that they've got appointments or whatever. Uh, as we get in with the drone again, make sure you stop within the realm. Don't really down here, then, so that yeah, sure, no you problem. You stop within the realms of the law when you're using your drone, of course. Yeah, uh, well, that's been really kind of you. Thank you so okay. much. I'll leave you to that. Yeah, I'm just going to go this way and uh, I'll stay out now. I won't come back on. Yeah, yeah, well, no problem, mate. Thank you. So how nice was that, guys, eh? Uh, it didn't have to, you know, we didn't make an appointment or anything like that. I'm so surprised still, the amount of people that recognise my voice and that watch the videos. But, you know, maybe uh, that did influence their behaviour. Maybe they would have uh, behaved slightly different if they didn't know who I was. But yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see that the videos are being watched by many, many people. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> You'll see yourself on the video. <laughs>
So yeah, I'm just going to take a different position now, um, up on this side. We'll get the drone up and we'll uh, see what it looks like from above. So once again, we've checked on drone assist. We're all clear to fly. This is the spot and that's the building. Let's do this. So once again, we'll use the body cam and we'll see our friends just there on the body cam, driving past, taking an interest. We'll pan round on the camera, on the drone, to see what they're gonna do. And yep, they're gonna turn round, look. They're gonna turn round and they're gonna sneak up behind me and ask me what I'm doing. Look. They think I can't see them, but of course I can. And I can also hear sirens as well. So, what are they going to say? There. Got you walking. Got you walking from your vehicle. Perfect. My name's uh, PC Wills. I'm from Hanley. Just okay. so you know, you can see that you're flying, recording there. I'm recording as well. Okay. Just a quick conversation about your flying credentials. Yeah. If that's okay. just, just let me bring it down. Absolutely. Because you don't want to lose it. I don't want to get distracted. Come fly one of them. You could. It's easy. <laughs> I'll just get a nice shot of you as I come down. Absolutely. There we go. No problem at all. Good looking chap like yourself, it'd be rude not to. Absolutely, that's what I tell you. <laughs> right, okay. yeah, so I can help. It's just in regards to your flying credentials um, and just making sure that they're there. Yeah. So first of all, can I just ask the uh, the drone weight? 249 grams. 249 grams, that's absolutely fine. Have you, fine. Have you got a flyer ID? Uh, you, <laughs> right, we come across this quite a lot. Yep. Now then, for a 249 gram drone, flyer ID is not required, but you do need an operator ID. Okay. Right. Now then, with an operator ID, that's just like giving you my name, right? Because you'll put that in, into PNC and you'll be able to find out who I am. Now, you're only entitled to someone's name, member of the public's name, if you suspect them of a crime, right? At the minute, we're not in a flight restriction zone. We've got a line of sight of the drone Correct. and it's not causing anybody any issues like they're, they're needing to duck so like a crowd of people or something like that. So at the moment, I'm just for the purpose of the video, you are not entitled to the to the operator ID, although you can clearly see on the top of the drone, see the sticker? You can see that it's a got it on, on there. there. Yeah. So I'm not being difficult, but no. I am creating a video for the people that watch the videos, yep. that do get approached like this, Absolutely. that give their name when they don't need to. No. Nope. So Absolutely. hopefully you've not took offence to that. No, no, okay. not at all, not at all. Can I ask you, do you receive, is there any commercial benefit to you to making these videos? When there is a commercial benefit, like there is, so you get paid from the advertisers when the video goes on, it is a requirement to have commercial, in, uh, to have insurance, public liability insurance. Mm -hmm. Do I have that? Yes. So there you go. But at the moment in time right now, you are not to know, you've not seen somebody pass me money for the footage. So you're not going to know whether there is a commercial benefit or not. But I'm honest with you and I'm telling you that if it further down the line, you see that video being used in a commercial way, Absolutely. at that point is when it becomes, we need to see your insurance now. Okay. So do you have any further certification to fly a drone? for a commercial benefit. I've, I've just got to ask the question. I'm, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask the question, would I? Yep, now then, as a member of the public, everybody has access to put a video onto YouTube, yep. right? It's called citizen journalism. So there is no commercial entity. There isn't um, a responsibility like um, businesses have with GDPR, etc. Mm -hmm. um, citizen journalists are actually exempt from GDPR. So the commercial aspect of it isn't right now. That's only if the video goes on and it makes money through the advertisers. Do you get that? 
So right now, the only thing that I need is the operator ID because I'm operating a 249 gram drone. Absolutely. And you know, pardon me for my confusion with the, yeah. uh, with, the with the which one to ask for. Just making sure. Yeah, yeah, but it's nice for you. So next time somebody with a 249 gram drone comes across your path, you know, your your radar, as it was, whether it's by somebody asking you for advice or, or whatever, then you know now. As, and I hope you don't think I'm being rude either. The reason I know you mentioned to me that you didn't want to give your ID because it was the same as asking a name. Hence my reason for not asking. Yeah. I hope you don't think I'm being no. rude. And, and I do realise you did put the body cam on. You can now probably get the ID, get my name from my face using the, the advanced systems that you guys have got on your Axon system. So, you know, we're not silly. Just maybe that's a little bit naughty. You should have told me that you're putting your body cam on because you... I, I did at the beginning. I'm more than, Did you? I did. I did oh, I'll, I'll review it, sorry. Absolutely. No, no I thought I just heard you press it. I'm sure when I was here, I mentioned that okay. I saw that you were recording and I was as well. I do apologise if yeah. I didn't, yeah. uh, but I'm quite confident that I did. Um, okay, I'll, I'll have to admit, I'm not the expert in drones. I'm satisfied with the information that you've given me. Yeah. When I get back in the car, I am going to make a telephone call to the man who is in the know, as yeah. I'm sure you can appreciate, just to make sure that we've got everything right. Yeah. On Friday, I was with West Midlands um, Drones, uh, WMP drones on yeah. Twitter they are very big there was actually at the Coventry new urban airport mm -hmm. did you know about that there's actually a passenger drone airport being created I wasn't aware, no. yeah 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 and we, we covered lots of subjects uh, even about flying over prisons well as long as there's yeah yeah, no yeah. Flight restriction in place then well there is there is but only to a certain height but yeah so basically um, this sort of subject is one that's very questionable at the minute people are not sure what's allowed to do so we're creating videos pushing the boundaries actually going over i've just been over the custody um fac facility what do you call yeah. it so that's northern area custody facility facility why is it called a facility well above my pay grade because <laughs> it's got five wings isn't it Doesn't how many mean. cells in each wing i believe there's i think there's just above 50 in total right so 10 in each wing then and maybe one sort of for the high risk person where you've got to watch them. But there's no exercise yard, is there? There is a facility for exercise in there. Indoor? At the end of the wing to certain wings. Ah, oh, right. Okay, that's good to know. And it, how old is it? That's a fantastic question. I'd be lying if I told you that, if I, if I guessed. I'd say about uh, 25 years or something I'm like that. I'm led to believe it's in the regions of 20 years old. Yeah. I would be, uh, I'd be guessing. So. Yeah. I do like how you've got the vehicle lock, though. You've not only got a vehicle lock when you're going in, but you've actually got... Um, an underground vehicle lock where you can when you let them out of the vehicle so you've got multiple lines of defense there they're not all that secure yeah yeah really, i'm really impressed with it but you wouldn't see it all that of course without the drone no 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 no. and it's just making sure like i say you're, you're more than welcome to fly you know the legislation i've admitted you know the legislation better than i do which is why i have to check check in before i come and have a conversation and yeah. start talking about things that I don't know about that would be improper yeah. no you were nearly there yeah. though you were nearly there and obviously once you check what I've said then yeah you'll be fine I've actually gone um, I've pushed a few boundaries in my time put it that way so yeah <laughs> so are you based at that custody facility I'm not I'm based in Hanley which is just down the road you did say didn't you Hanley I have come across constables from Hanley before but I can't remember where it was yeah okay I've done a few videos in this area is it, do you primarily put them on YouTube? Or? Yeah, it's for public awareness. It's to anything that the public are interested in, we'll try and cover. Now, this one has got a listed building in the corner of the car park, and it's so beautiful. And there has been people that have been rejected access, denied access to see it. And they say you can see it from the, the roadway, but there's lots of trees in the way there. So I've just got on, and I actually got recognised. Um, somebody watches the content. So they let me inside, no, not inside the building, but they let, let me right next to the, which is not really a true reflection of their true behavior. So the next person that comes that they don't know, there's probably still- Couldn't possibly uh, comment on But no, it's really nice. Have you ever seen it yourself? I haven't. No. I haven't. So there's always a purpose. We don't just randomly pick on uh, somewhere. We'll always go because somebody has told us that there's been a problem or, yeah, so it's all good, mate. It's all good. I enjoy it as well. Perfect. Well, it was raining about an hour ago. Say, it seems to have, uh... Do you know, one, one thing you might not be able to tell me, but I did spot um, about an hour ago that a helicopter land nearby mm -hmm. and there was a lot of uh, siren activity. 
just for the public because it was on my video? It's nothing that I'm aware of. There is quite a bit of air traffic that travels around the area. Um, a lot of air traffic that you will see coming across does find its way going towards the hospital uh, as it's a major trauma centre. However, some businesses do have helicopters that's, that, that land around here. I'm not aware of what that one was for. Yeah, I have been told as well that the owner of this place arrives by helicopter, but I've not seen that yet. <laughs> could possibly have been. It could, no, no. It could very well have been, but a lot of the air traffic that you'll see will be travelling just over in that direction over there. If you're I don't want you to think that I'm just sitting watching. No, it's okay. not the case. I'm just going to double check. That's all. Um, I'm quite happy to, to say that. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I'm satisfied with the information that, that I've been given. The only thing that you need to see, see at the side there where it says 249 gram? Yeah. Once you tell them he's got a 249 gram drone, everything and else will just flow. The one number which I can see is on the top. Yeah, but you, I don't want you to put it into PNC. That's all. Because it's no. a. It, there would have to be a policing purpose. Yeah, there'll have to be a suspicion of a crime being committed. And, you know, if you come across somebody with a drone that's not got line of sight, or they're causing people to, to behave in a way that... Or it's restricted airspace. Yeah, if it's FRZ, and there's an app called Drone Assist, which will tell you where the FRZs are. Yeah, or they're obviously flying over a prison. You can go over a prison at over 164 foot, but not under it. And you need to be under it to successfully drop the drug in. This can't even carry anything. But some drones can carry drugs and the risk of it dropping into the prison is what they want to stop. Hence the, uh, the, high, restriction. the high restriction. Anything over that, you couldn't guarantee it. the wind might drop, take it, or you just couldn't guarantee it's going to get into your um, okay. designed area. Because there have been communication to say, right, in, near the basketball court, you know what I mean? So there's been some sort of pre-arranged spot and you couldn't guarantee it would land there. No, no, no. Well, I will leave it to it. Like I say, that's my intention now. Um, Hope you have a good day. Yeah, um, thank you. And, and like I say, it's uh, I'll, I'll mention that I have spoken to you. Um, hopefully the memo gets across. Yeah. Um, and I do apologise for anybody. No, that's all right. Team, as well at the same time. Uh, hope you enjoy the picking up wind. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Very pleasant. So there you go. He was willing to listen, and now have told him a few things. He's going to go back to the vehicle check them out and I'm sure that'll be the last we see of him so let's get back to the drone shot Yes. Yes, DJ. You know me, yeah. What's up, mate? You're DJ and PJ. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah, that's the roundhouse. Look how nice it looks, eh? With all the kid, uh, kid play stuff there. But I'm not sure whether the kids actually ever get to use that. But yeah, they've certainly made it look nice. I wonder what's inside. He didn't really let much on, did he? About what's inside. We've got a few electric charging points there. I can only see, well, seven. <laughs> E7, it gives it all away. But yeah, so many security staff, this Bet365 building. Is it really just um, staff, equipment, and those that have lost a lot of money that they're guarding against 
but look at the amount of cars in the car park wow huge company situated right next to the lovely canal there look and I'm sure they all make use of uh, this pub <laughs> on Fridays Toby Carvery so let's get really high up get a lovely shot from above to see the grand scale of the fit place and we've even got a middle part here is that some sort of uh, outdoor area where they like to remain private but still outdoors let's have a look yeah some courtyard area very nice got the same blocks as they have outside on the floor the ground so yeah let's have a really really high shot up we're at 64 meters at the minute nice to see they've got solar panels as well on the roof And there's the police car still waiting there, look, doing his checks. So we're now at 115 metres high. So we'll have a good look around the area. See what we can see. Loads of industry around here. I'll see what else uh, there is interesting to film while I'm in the area oh we've got a nice marina there look with loads of canal boats narrow boats I think they're called there's the listed building right in the, the corner of residential and industry dotted around the place there's that custody facility with the five wings and just over 50 cells he said and we've got the train track in the background and back to where we are there with the police vehicle just leaving gives me a wave as he goes by that's how we like it. And it's not returning back to the custody facility. It's maybe returning back to Hanley. Hanley Police Station, that's one that I've not done yet. I might take a look at that uh, if it's nearby. So yeah, let's get a lovely shot of this building and its grounds all in one. Because the guy there that watches the videos he'll be able to see his place of work all in one shot you know nice little nice little service for him and he can print it off put it on his uh, living room wall <laughs> it's like I don't think so mate I don't like the place that much but there you go bet 365 with the listed building in the background and then we'll bring it down I think that's enough uh, footage of this place really modern building great to see the solar panels and the electric charging Did you take this away? yes come back for another look you yeah yeah you what's that mate Thank you, thank you. I just went to the custody facility there yeah. for the police. He just had a little chat with me. He knows that he can't do nothing. There's a listed building in the corner of this place as well. Yeah. Went to have a look at that. Security know me as well, so they let me on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you watch News Now Yorkshire as well? No. I was out with him on Friday. Yeah. He's a good one to watch. 
We did a couple of prisons together on Friday. I don't know about Martin. Don't you? <laughs> Everyone's got their own style, ain't they? Where are you from? Leicester. Right, yeah. Down. Are you from this area, are you? Yeah, so did you see the visits uh, that I made to the quarry? Yeah, yeah, me and Billy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you, mate. Thank you. It is amazing when you uh, meet the subscribers like that. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Are you DJ goes? You know, if I was walking around a shopping centre or something like that, they'd never know who I am. But because I'm standing out somewhere with a drone and a camera, it's got to be uh, one of a few people, hasn't it? So that was Bet365, the headquarters here in Stoke-on-Trent. They have further offices in Manchester, Gibraltar, Malta and Bulgaria. And as of 2020, they employed 4,000 people in total. And Bet365 is a trading name of Hillside New Media Limited. And they call themselves the online gambling company offering sports betting and casino type games. Founded in the year 2000, 22 years ago, by Denise Coates in a portable building in Stoke-on-Trent. In 2019, Bet365 ranked the second on the Sunday Times list of the UK's top taxpayers, with the Coates family, Denise, John and Peter, paying an estimated total tax of 156 million, of which 99 million was paid by Denise alone. So there you go, having them here in the UK, paying all that tax. You know, the staff were polite, they're looking after those listed buildings, and they employ a lot of people. So, you know, maybe um, they need to be responsible so that people don't get to uh, dig themselves too big of a hole but that's a different story so yeah my visit here to bet365 today has been quite pleasant so whilst it's really quiet at this place i'll have a very very close look to see if i can pick any faults at all around this place and there is a tiny hole there. The manhole cover should be covering the hole but not leaving it open. You know, it's sliding over. What if it slides over too much and people walking by here fall down? You, know, you can't fall down it at the minute, but everything's possible. <laughs> and litter's quite good. Not much litter at all. You got summit in the bush there. What's that? Ugh. Down on my knees for you guys, eh? And this has got a tag on it saying jet press. So whether or not that is related, it looks like one of the bags that they give um, give the belongings back in when they're being released from custody, isn't it? Here we've got parcel force making a delivery. So that was the Northern Area Custody Facility for Staffordshire Police. And we learnt there that they've got just over 50 cells in total. We had a nice shot around with the drone. And we did speak to one constable whilst filming next door at Bet365. Other people that have noticed us, they've just left us alone. Uh, which is uh, refreshing to see. So we'll watch this one last vehicle go inside and then we'll call it a day here. Yeah? Like 
them. No, it's over there. It's over there, lot. No, no, I'm telling you, I get them. Yes, yeah, it's there. Why are you filming them for? What did they say when you said, it? is he an activist? What was their reply? They said, uh, no, he's just filming. filming. Just filming, just filming, yeah. They hate you, don't they? They're getting used to it, though, aren't they? Do you come here every day? No, no, not every day. Oh, that's that gentleman. Hi. Can we meet again? Yeah, yeah, we'll meet you want again. Another interview officer. <laughs> So yeah, what it is, um, you go and film in public and we want to see how professional the police behave okay. and whether they try and stop you from uh, filming. But I've just took the drone over. I've just been doing 365 as well, but he actually got called out to me earlier. So I've already spoke to him. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave you to it, mate. So yeah, it turns out that uh, the constable in the vehicle was uh, the one from earlier. <laughs> But that guy has now started uh, talking about his personal stuff. So, yeah, I am going to leave that one there. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.